Hi, today I want to talk about difference between conventional and addressable fire panel. You can see both here. This is a very well, no, well, well known example, Molly fire panel. And this is mostly, I guess, known in the UK and Ireland, which is CTEC conventional panel. But the main difference between those two is how they function, how they work. So on conventional fire panel you have zones and all the devices on the zone will report as a zone fire. So if you have 5, 10, uh, whatever number of devices on the zone, uh, you won't know which exactly device went off. Uh, the only way you could find out is if, you, if the customer didn't reset the panel and you would go and find the one with uh, LED on uh, or if you find the broken glass in the brake glass so this is LED and this is brake glass so it's very difficult to identify uh, what is what because all those devices are, are generally very simple they, they trigger, they are triggered by uh, this one by pressing, this one by, by smoke and they create a put a resistor between those fire wires or in case of this one between those two and panel measures that and uh, and says okay on that zone or that zone there's a fire but you don't know which when on the uh sorry the one more thing and those devices are exactly the same so you can replace one device for another um, there's no difference really between them and, and they are not smart they're not they, you cannot identify them where on this panel uh, it's much more complicated because every device has its own address has to be programmed and has to be uh, address has to be set and then entire panel has to be programmed so if fire goes off and you have building whereas this fire panel uh, you will know exactly if obviously it was commissioned properly you will know exactly where the device is and uh, uh, where the fire is and that's that's the first difference then another difference is in price because this one is very simple as i said there is no programming involved really you just connect wires and that's it this one has to be programmed all devices are more expensive than a conventional device they look the same from this side they look like but on the inside they're different uh, because this one has address this one doesn't and so the price of the addressable system is is much higher and then Another thing is complexity. As I explained, this one is extremely simple. Basically works out of the box. If you, if you take your device, connect to the panel or number of devices, if you do this correctly, and, uh, and you power up panel, everything works. There's no, no issue, no, you don't have to do anything. On this one, you have to program. You have to program every device you have to program the panel, program the loop, commission everything, uh, program descriptions for every device, and so on, and so on, and so on. So uh, it's it's much much more complex. And the fourth difference is application. So obviously you can put this panel into very small office and charge customer a lot, or you can put this panel in a very big building, but that's not how they should be used. Because in big buildings, you, you have to know where the fire, where the source of the fire is. If you have a small office where it would be, I don't know, few rooms, like few meaning one, two, three, four, maybe five. 
you could have each room on on uh, uh, on separate zone and that way you would know where the fire is and then you could have all the break glasses on on one zone but that's obviously a lot of wiring but if you have multi-floor building let's say you have four floors and you have each floor has i don't know 20 offices and the offices can have kitchens toilets and so on this panel even if it would have more zones is not very good like uh, you cannot really well you can but you shouldn't where in th this panel you can program every device you can say where exactly it is which office which floor and you can program outputs properly uh, in certain buildings you don't have to you, sh you you cannot you should not actually sorry you cannot I'm changing my, my uh, verb here uh, you shouldn't uh, often you, sh you cannot have all the bells activated at the same time because you, you can have different uh, evacuations from different floors you can have different wings of the building, like in hospitals often, or, or, or prisons, or other places. Uh, so one one side of the building has nothing to do really with the other, uh, in the sense of fire. So there's many applications where 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 you you have to use those. Uh, so you have to combine all combine all those factors, and that way you will get a good view of. A, what exactly uh, you need, conventional or, or addressable. I wouldn't sell it to the small customer, which he has, let's say, as I said, few offices and that's it, uh, because it would be probably too expensive for him. But uh, obviously it is up to you. If you want to learn more about uh, installation of, of both systems, commissioning, programming, and so on, uh, just, just join our course. Link is below the video. Thank you.